Well, today we have this device, A, which we have reset. We have formatted and we are left with the Google account. With the Gmail account, how do we know that we, uh, that our device is totally blocked? Uh, that it has a screen locker with the Google account. As we can see here on the right left side. Sorry, uh, top, we have this little padlock. When we see that little padlock it is because it means that our phone has a screen lock also the Gmail account. What happens is that when we suddenly add a new lock and After a while of not writing it down we forget that pattern or the password we forget so what we do is format it at the time that we format our phone. We thought that our phone would be totally a free normal to be able to configure it. But when we connect to a Wi-Fi network, here we have not connected yet. But we are going to connect and we are going to explain and give you the tour of the device so that you can see that this phone is left with the account of Google A. What do we have to do? Always before when we create a Google account, a Gmail account, the first thing we have to do is, uh, is write down everything. Write down uh, the Gmail account, also the password. When we create a Gmail account, it is always recommended to add. It is always to add a phone number. Also additionally add a recovery email. It is for what let's say that suddenly later we do this. But if we forget the password with a phone number we can recover it. But let's say that with the phone number we also lost the SIM card. Well with the alternative email, an email. A second recovery email that we had told you. In that recovery email we will be able to recover our phone. A code would not arrive where we will be able to. I add that code and be able to I change that password. Well I let's connect what is to a Wi-Fi network before starting to do this process. We also want to tell you that we have other methods. We have also left another method also different both by PC and without PC. We have left it in the description of this video and in the first comment pinned we can see here that we have arrived. Where it shows us what this screen lock is here it also shows us a the Google account the Gmail account this that. This is the one that we are saying we can recover our device via Gmail or via phone number those two options. We will always be able to recover it here while we click here where it says forget Gmail. We write the phone number, we write any phone number. We click next, here they will ask us for some information. But here if you add the email it will not ask you for any information. It will ask you, it will send you what is a code. Both the phone number and the email. This we just said, let's go back to the beginning. Here at the beginning we are going to do the following. We are going to see if this one applied. To Trico numeral zero numeral. This is it is a mediated processor it gives us the option that we entered previously. With other phones that still enter and work depending on the security a that. The processor is activated this ADB the ADB debugging here it gives us that. It is access here from the PC we could previously recover our phone with. A single click, with a program and a single click we recovered our phone. But this is no longer working, but here accessibility we are going to click on it. We are going to enable this tailback. Here the tailback would be enabled for us, here we double click it. Now we also double click here. 
Here we double click it, we give it the second option. Double click and now we double click here, we double click here. Here it would turn off. Ready, we are going to click here, we click here, we. Click here up to where the Wi-Fi networks are. Here we are going to click where it says add new network, here we are going to click here on this little nut. Being here in this little nut. Here in this little nut we are going to go down. We are going to go down, we are going to click here where it says reset, we click here. We are going to reset everything, we are going to reset all of this. After it is reset, we reset everything. What we are going to do now is restart the phone, we are going to restart it. Now what we are going to do is wait for our phone to completely restart. When our phone completely restarts, we are going to make the following configurations. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you do not miss any of these details. And I can give you a solution to delete the account from your device. What are we going to do now? Well I will tell you what we are going to do. We are going to do our recovery where we are not going to use the PC as we had said from the beginning of the video. We are not going to use the PC, but we are going to use some functions. What would those functions be? We are going to do the following. Click next, here now we are going to get three options. We are going to select number one where this QR code appears. Well, what we are going to do now is have another device, we are going to use another device. Here it usually tells me that recognize it, but we are not going to use it. We are going to use what we are going to add what is an email. We add a device that has a Google account, we are not going to use it. We are going to go and we are going to add what is a screen lock. We add a screen lock. We are going to add this pattern on this device both. Well what we are going to do is scan it, we are going to click here the camera. We are going to click here where it says login. We are going to wait for both devices to synchronize, they are going to synchronize. We are going to add what is the lock that we have added on this device. Now it would take us to this here would come what it is, let's wait. Let's leave it here to wait for both phones to synchronize, they are going. To synchronize as we had said, we also have other, totally different methods in the description of the video and in the first. Fixed comment, we are going to leave additional methods, let's see, let's. Wait for them to synchronize. They are going to synchronize. Now what we have to do is add the same screen lock that already appeared. We are going to add it here and they are going to synchronize both accounts. The same account that we have on this device is going to be synchronized on that device. They are going to synchronize, as we can see here I am going to show you in the account. An alternative account that I added. What are we going to say? We are going to tell it here where it says do not copy. We are going to click here on skip, we click on skip. Ready, here we can see the account that was added correctly. Since when it shows us here what we are going to do now is press the volume down and power button. Well we are going to restart it here it appears. Now what we are going to do is wait for our phone to restart. Since both the screen block and the Google account were synchronized. That is what we are going to do, we always do that. We restart it, we wait a few seconds for our phone. To restart and then what we are going to do is reconfigure our phone. Do not worry. 
You have reached this point because the method is working 100%. Let's wait and go, it's already starting, we're going to finish what is this process. Let's wait for it to start, wait for it to restart. Ready, let's click here now. Let's wait for it to load, we click here, now it would take us directly. It would take us directly to the configuration. Now here it will appear on the screen that our account was added or added. If it shows that your account was added or added then the method has been successful. Here it was. As you can see the account was added on this device we will click next. We click next, we wait, we click again here where it says do not copy. Now it will take you and we will click here on skip. Skip, now the Google account will appear here now it will appear again. Here in Google services you will see the account that we have added we click here we click accept we click accept we click here. We say no, we wait a few seconds. We are almost finished what is this recovery process. We click on more, we say here in skip, we say skip again. We say skip, wait. Wait, we're going to wait here. Then it would take us to the next section, it would take us to what is home. Once we get to home you will. See that the account was added correctly. Your account was added correctly. We click here in these small letters that appear here. We click here in skip, we click on skip again. We click on skip or again, we click here on add, we click on next. We will click here on next, we will wait a few more seconds. We will wait, we wait until it takes us to that point. We click on next here we will click on finish. We click on finish and we would have our device completely ready. We will click here and you will see that the account was already, we click here and skip. Here it is asking us for verification. We will click here we will delete all this data. We will delete all the data so that it gives us access because here it always asks us for this. Then we click on open here it would show us the account that was added successfully.